Welcome to today's video. Today I'll be walking you through the process of creating a slow DNS server and setting it up on HTTP custom VPN for secure and fast browsing. Whether you're new to this or have some experience, this step-by-step -step guide will make everything simple. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your server and get connected in no time. So let's get started. First, open your preferred web browser and type UDP custom into the search bar, then hit enter. From the search results, focus on the official UDP custom website. Go ahead and click on it to begin the server creation process. Once you're on the UDP custom homepage, head to the top right corner and tap on the menu icon. This will reveal all available options. Among these, you'll want to locate and select the slow DNS menu. Tap on that to continue. On the next page, you'll be presented with a list of different slow DNS server locations. Choose your preferred location by clicking on the Select Location button next to the server of your choice. Now, you'll be redirected to the account creation page. Here, you'll need to enter a username, password, and solve a CAPTCHA to verify you're not a bot. Once you've filled in all the required information, click on Create Server. Your slow DNS server is now created. You can copy the server details or the specific information needed to configure your VPN. Now that you have your slow DNS server ready, it's time to configure it in HTTP Custom VPN. If you're not familiar with this, don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Start by opening the Google Play Store and searching for HTTP Custom VPN. When it shows up in the search results, tap on the app and install it. Once installed, click the Open button to launch the app. When the app opens, you'll be greeted by the home screen. To configure your server, first check the Slow DNS Stop box to activate this feature. After that, enter the SSH details that you got from the server setup earlier. Before you connect, there's one more important step to ensure everything works smoothly. In the HTTP Custom app, tap on the plugin icon. This will open up a menu. From here, choose the Slow DNS settings. In these settings, you'll need to enter the public key and name servers that were provided during the server creation process. Make sure to input everything correctly. Now that everything is set up, it's time to connect. Tap on the Connect button to start your VPN connection. If you want to confirm that everything is working correctly and to monitor for any errors, simply swipe right to view the log. And that's it! You're now successfully connected to your newly created slow DNS server using HTTP Custom VPN. Thanks so much for following along with this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more guides and tips. Thanks for watching.